Hey guys, it's Mimic. I'm making this video to answer one question. How do you draw? This is a question I've asked and been asked since I was in high school. I ask 50 different people, I get 50 different answers. You know, the usual thing. However, the usual answer I get is draw from reference and keep practicing. While this is good advice, it doesn't really answer the question. It's always a vague sort of answer. It's also why I get so many different tutorials about how to draw. I'm making this video as a way to help answer that question. Which brings us back to the big question, how do you draw? If we were to take it literally, then all it would take to draw is take a pencil or something like that, put it on a piece of paper, make a little squiggle, and then there, you made a drawing. Congratulations. Unsatisfied? I know I am. We don't want to learn how to make squiggles. We want to make drawings. We want to make the apple. We want to make the character. We want to make the backgrounds. We don't do a lot of stuff like that. Yet when you ask an artist this question, you get vague answers like this. Or simply be told, keep practicing. The reason this can be unsatisfying is that we're not looking for quick advice or quick answers. We're really looking for a method of drawing that fits our preference. For a lot of people, it's pencils, paints, computers, or stone block. And each one of those has its own little device or method in which you need to use with. Some people like to go soft, some like to go hard. Don't take it out of the context, please. <laughs> now then, let's uh, go back and try to answer the question. How do you draw? Let's say the reason for this question is that we have an idea, but we don't have a quick method of making it easy for other people to understand it. For example, we want to draw an orange. Okay, so let's draw an orange then, shall we? I'm going to show you how to draw that orange. To draw an orange, let's say that, uh, what, let's see what's, uh, what's identified the fruit. What is an orange? It's orange, it's round, it's juicy. So with that in mind, let's make the orange. First, we need to draw a circle. Since this will be using a digital medium like uh, Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop right now, just to let anyone know, we're going to use the circular select tool with Photoshop. This helps make simple designs, so anyway, let's get the uh, little last uh, selection tool circle and make it round like so. Next, we fill it with the color orange with the fill tool. And there we go. By standard definition, we now have an orange. But let's take it a step further. Let's, um, hmm, what should we do to make this more like an orange? Let's add a small stem and a leaf. Yeah, that'll make it look like an orange. So, let's make a little thing right here. Yeah, let's make it like right there and make that the stem. Let's make a brownish color and fill that. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a little stem there. Next, let's make the leaf. For the leaf, let's make it a green color. So, put it like this. And fill it with the color green. Like a happy green color. Nice and bright. And there you go. We now have a much better looking orange. Well, if you're feeling a bit fancy and you want to add a little bit more to the orange, let's... We can always rotate it like this. There. Now we're talking. But if you want to go a little bit more crazy, if you're feeling crazy for that sort of thing, let's add shadow and highlights to this thing. So, select it like this. And let's add a darker color. A darker... Uh, darker bit. There. And here. 
here, we shall add the little, what shall I call it? The little highlight. Well, there we go. Now it's looking really good. We select that, make it a darker green, like so. And next we select this. And make this a darker uh, brown. Yeah, darker brown. Let's get a little closer. Add a little highlight here. Make it nice and uh, thin. This is a brown. Let's make it a little lighter brown. Like so. And for the leaf, let's add a little highlight right here and make this a lighter green. Yeah, now that's crazy. Oh, wait, we need a lighter. Yeah, now we're talking. And for the Coupe de Grasse, let's add a shadow underneath this thing. Yeah, now that's crazy. Hmm. Let's give it a dark shadow. Now we're talking. Let's uh, lighten it up a bit. With the occupancy. And there we go. We made an orange. Isn't it awesome? Now that we have our orange, this would be perfect to make as a logo, a sign up for produce, or even a wallpaper. Now this is just one of many methods you can employ to draw what you want, when you want it. It's simple to do and easy to pull off. And this was all done with the circular select tool, like so. that easy. There are many different methods out there, but the problem is finding one that's right for you. That's right for me. Luckily there's some basic methods which help out with the process, and different processes to help out with the method. But for now, I uh, will end the video here. Let me know if you'd like to ex me to explain how to draw specific ways, or specific things, or if you just like the video in general. Till next time, this is Mimic, signing off.